Hi, thank you for coming to my channel. Today I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to replace a MacBook Pro 13 inch and this model here is 2015. So um, there are a few things that you need to have. Uh, first of all, you need to have a pantalope screwdriver. Um, I'll have the link description below and you can click on that to um, purchase the, the tools, um, the screen and to get this process going. So first you need to have the pantalope, you need to have Tor T5, um, also you need to have a Tor T8 screwdriver and new screen. And um, again I'll have all the tools, um, the screen, everything in the description below. So you can go ahead and click on that. Um, and this would get your screen replaced in no time. So let's get started. The first thing first, what you need to do is to remove the back plate. So flip the laptop upside down, get your pantalope screwdriver, go ahead and remove all the screws. So let's begin with that. Once you have all the screw removed, go ahead and remove the uh, the back plate. You get to see your computer. That's the motherboard. This is the hard drive, the solid state drive, the flash solid state drive, and you have a Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth on this here. So go ahead and remove the the Wi-Fi cable. And this is the LCD screen connector. You need to flip the clipper, so flip it up before you can remove the cable. Okay, once you have the two things done, the next step is to remove the plastic cover on both sides. You want to use a T5 screwdriver to remove uh, the screen holder. So. There's this tiny little thing that you need to remove uh, in order to get into the screen. So remove that. They have it on the left and the right, so you gotta do twice. Once you have that removed, the next step is to remove this cable underneath. Okay, so far we are doing good. The next thing, you have to lift up the laptop and open it to about 90 degree angle. Okay, and you want to hold the base with your other hand and get a torque T8 screwdriver. There are three screws, go ahead and remove that. You want to do the same on the other side by holding the bottom while you're removing the screw.
once you have all the screw removed, the screen is going to come right off. And then that is the reason why you want to use the other hand to hold on to the base. Okay, this is a cracked screen and we're going to replace with the new one. So the first thing you want to do on the new screen is to flip the hinge back to the 90 degree angle. Okay, it's about that. And then come and do it do this for the second one. So you, once you have it about 90 degree angle, uh, this is where you can slide it back in. So hold the base again. Okay, once you have the, the base sliding, uh, it's going to hold it. So the first thing you want to do is to get the screw and screw it back onto um, the hinges. And you want to do this on the other side. Okay, once you have that thing done, you can go ahead and close the screen and now you can finish the rest. So the first thing I'll do is to install the cable. Next, you want to get this Wi-Fi metal plate um, onto the hinge where you're going to put the screws on to screw it tight. Once you have that thing done, go ahead and install the cable. Once you have the Wi-Fi cable installed, the next step is to come and install the, uh, the LCD connector. So you push in the cable. Once the cable is, is in, you want to get the clip and clip on to lock it in. And now you're going to come back and finish up the remaining screw for the hinges. Okay, so before I put before I put the back plate back on, I'm gonna turn it on and make sure that the screen is working.
All right, the thing is looking good. So let me go ahead and shut it down. And then don't forget to put the uh, the clip on both sides that holds the LCD. Okay, once you have the clip on, the last thing is to put the uh, plastic back, the plastic cover. All right, finally, the back plate. All right, I hope I can help you with this tutorial. Uh, if you have any question, just comment below and I'll respond back to you as soon as I can. And thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And I'll see you again next time.